We are STEAM, Students for Engagement and Activism in Microfinance, the only microfinance-focused student volunteer organization at Stanford. Our mission is threefold, to educate students about poverty in the developing world, to advocate for microfinance as a powerful long-term solution to poverty, to provide an avenue for students to channel their desire for change. This is where One Hand comes in. One Hand Inc. has given us an opportunity to make our last goal a reality. We basically, everyone in our group uh, found some time in our week and we got together, got in a van, which we rented, and kind of went to a school in East Palo Alto. Hi, I'm Veronica Medina. I'm a fifth grade teacher at Brownwood Academy in East Palo Alto, California, um, and this is my 11th year in fifth grade at the school. One hand came into my classroom and they would um, first engage a student in a story um, and then the students would have different activities. Some of them were economics based, some of them were more um, cultural based, and my students really enjoyed the activities and the time that they spent with the, the One Hand organization that came in my room. So the great thing about working with uh, One Hand is that you get to read a story to kids. And it's not just a story that ends when the, you, know, you close the book, but it continues for weeks and weeks of uh, you know, in-depth discussion. And essentially, we're, you know, we're, we're sharing our ideas, we're sharing the idea of hope through stories, stories they can relate to, um, stories about kids in Africa, which I guess um, our goal is to show that those kids aren't really that different from these kids. Um, it made them more aware on a global scale. I think a lot of times they think of things in terms of what's happening in East Palo Alto, what are their own personal struggles. I mean, they were able to make connections that were kind of worldwide. They didn't know much about Africa and Ghana and um, other countries and how the economy even would work outside of the U.S. And I think it really opened their eyes to the fact that one idea could totally change a whole nation. on the internet looking things up um, it made them curious and I think it really sparked something in my students last year. We also got the kids to write a letter to Kojo about how what they would do and if uh, the feelings they had from his story. You know, it, was, it was very much a genuine response toward a story that they really believed in. It was cool to see you know after three weeks of kind of telling the story and you know in our hearts sometimes wondering whether they truly understood what we're trying to say uh, to really be able to see their reactions to it and how genuine it was. Um, I think that they learned that, you know, ideas and dreams need to be followed and pursued. I think that they learned that determination and having a plan can get them really far in life and it can help them overcome struggles. And I think it broadened their scope to see, like, this is why some of the names are the way they are and this could be us if we lived there. Um, this is the markets and this was... Um, things that they could relate to, but they had never thought of in terms of Africa and African life. The kids don't even realize it, but you're, you're teaching them entrepreneurship and building in them an entrepreneurial instinct. And there's something really special about that that I don't think you can get in a typical program. Um, Even though, you know, several of my students come from rural areas, in Latin America. They had connections with rural areas in Africa that I don't think they were aware of until the, um, the activities with one hymn. <laughs>